today we're gonna be playing American Truck Simulator. I'm gonna be using the old school Freightliner FLD. We're gonna be taking a load, actually a load of cargo. We're gonna be taking doubles from Steamboat Springs, uh, Colorado to Rawling, Wyoming. Let's get into it. Uh, as you can see, got 24 and a half inch uh, rims. Um, I got 18 speed transmission with a Detroit Detroit 14 liter 600 horsepower I think it's a uh, DD yeah, DD 14 yeah DD 14 600 horse Detroit so she runs pretty good she sounds really good I like it custom orange paint I, I painted took the time to paint myself I like that grill so I I don't even know what it's called, but I really like that grill, so went with that grill. Oh man, tire running there a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna be taking some doubles here. This is gonna be a first, so y'all bear with me. Oh, I was a little off. Alrighty. So let's see what this puppy can do. That's like a cut. Well, I need the lights on because it's raining. Uh, I can't, I don't really remember the weight. I think it's around 40, 40 something thousand pounds, something like that. It's not very heavy. Probably just building materials or something like that. Meaning that this is a construction site. But you still gotta be very careful, you know, draining, of course. Seems like every video I make lately, it's been raining. It's just the, the way the game falls. Yep, oh Freightliner FLD getting it done. Oh if we can't make this whole turn here. Alright. Trailer follows pretty good, so we'll be alright. Take it a little easy in the rain, cause uh, it's coming down pretty good. And conditions get kind of kind of shaky in the rain. Use the old jakes. Love the sound of those jakes. We're gonna be making a right hand turn here and get up on the highway like i said it's not a very long trip 203 miles or yeah 203 miles so uh yeah that's shorty see we got the old doubles i'm gonna switch on over in the first person for a minute here. see how it looks first person not too bad nice cab pretty cool Actually, I'm going to put one of these mirrors up so, while I'm in first person just so I can see because it's hard for me to see out of that mirror for some reason. Well, not too, not too bad, but just so I can see a little bit better. I don't have to worry about it. All right, I'm looking good. See, that works out a lot better for me. Yep, well, Freightliner FLD. Yeah, usually I don't use those mirrors until I start backing in, but I'll try to bear with this one. This GPS off. We got GPS inside the cab. Dude. But yep, old oh, Steamboat Springs. Looks like I'm gonna be making a right up here. What this guy's doing? Yeah, he want to turn at the last minute. I got anybody coming? Oh no, yes I do. Get this other lane right there. Oh, they could pull it in the fuel station. 
My windshield wipers automatically came on. I don't remember cutting them on, but I'm glad they're on. It's a long light. Jeez Louise. I'm better off running it, taking a fine. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see here. Um. Man, who's all waiting on that Kansas map? I'm, I'm so uh, fired up about that Kansas and Oklahoma. I hope they get released around the same time. They don't make us wait three months for, you know, one or the other, you know? They've been hyping us up for so long with those two maps. Just hope they uh, just release them in a timely fashion. I'm about to get over, merge over. So... Uh, but yeah, I'm just hoping they mer they uh, release those maps in a timely fashion. And we don't have to wait forever. You know, I know they want to get it right and all that stuff. But man, you know, you got a lot of people that just want to play. I'm signaling. It. All right, you got it, buddy. Yeah, you just got a lot of people that just flat out want to play. And, you know, I don't know the hold up is. Trying to get everything right. And that's all fine and dandy. 40 miles an hour. How fast? Okay, I'm doing 40. Might be going a little over action. Oh. Nice star ch charger right there. Wouldn't want to hit that. Used car salesman over here. We got an equipment uh, construction company over here. Backhoes and dozers and loaders. Those has been pretty cool. If anybody, uh, to the people that play, I don't want to know what everybody's favorite state is. <clears throat> what your favorite state is to play. So far, mine has been Texas. I absolutely love Texas. I like Colorado too, but I absolutely love Texas. Um, I don't know. It's just big and wide open. It's got a lot of long stretches, and it's just a it's an awesome map for me. I'm doing about 45, getting it done, break it down a little bit here, what kind of trouble this curve is going to bring, I want to break it down just a little bit, on about 55, speed limit 65, I was afraid of when I seen the sign that said, well, I'm, that's another thing I don't understand. So they make the speed limit 65 and they tell you a 30 mile an hour curve right before the turn. I don't understand that. Tell me it's a 30 mile an hour curve, you know, <laughs> when I'm a ways away, you know. But it's all right. Everything's good. I didn't hit anything. Going about 50 miles an hour. I don't know how far away I am. But, um, yeah, this, this onboard GPS ain't too bad. Just wanna go around this curve here. I gotta make a left or is this a road curve? The road just curves, alright. But yep, yeah, getting it done. The old Freightliner FLD. I'm making a right up here. Light exactly. Alright. I'm gonna 
hauling the helicopter. Sweet. Got KW. Pink KW at that. Alright, buddy. Gotta get you. Looking to make sure I got clear with the old trailer. Alright, now we can line it back up. And I'm doing 26, 27. All right. Set the old cruise at 33 or whatever this is. Oh, 45. Here we go. Open it up. Nice little incline. Man, this is some rough rain. Seems like every time <laughs> I want to make a video, this is what the uh, the game gives me. Rough rain. It's like, man. It's alright. I'll manage. Oh, got somebody pulled over here. Get over a little bit. So they got the top down. They got a convertible in the rain. Got the top down on the convertible in the rain. Man. Somebody's having a good time. Just being a little extra careful. Um, I can't really see that far ahead. Nice little lightning strike, thunder. And I gotta get back to my GPS. Uh, I can't see what's. Oh, I got an inspection coming up. Break her down for inspection. scale. Oh, I must go over here. There she is. No, I ain't overweight or nothing like that, so I ain't too worried about that. This wasn't an extremely heavy load. Alright. See, I'm only 62,000 pounds, so this is, this is nothing. If I was hauling a huge machine, a, a big combine, or something like that. Sixty-five. All right, I got to get her up to speed here. So far, so good. I had the one mishap where she got a little swirly on me, but uh, got it back together and we're back rolling. What is this up ahead here? I see an orange sign. Is that telling me to turn? Or construction ahead, a roadblock? What is that? I guess nothing. Forty-five. Okay, don't be on the speed limit. I'll set the cruise so I don't. Oh, had to break it down to 30. Oh, that's a big excavator. Man. Y'all see that? Now, that was a load. Coming through town, so you better be 30 miles an hour. I don't want to get any tickets or anything. Club Cafe. I wonder what that is. Nice little diner or whatever. Cafe. Been seeing a lot of these in and out burgers and I gotta try I've never tried it so I gotta try this in and out burger everybody I'm from Florida so we don't have an in and out burger that I know of at least
That'd be awesome if they get the Florida map cracking. Probably drive without a GPS. <laughs> That'd be real cool. Yeah, it's a little bit easier hauling these doubles. Um, I couldn't imagine trying to back these puppies up. I think I could do that. Back up doubles. I would give it a shot, though. I wouldn't, you know. I would definitely give it a shot. So, parking might be a little difficult today, but other than that, you know, it's been pretty, pretty good. 70, okay. I want us to do 70 miles an hour. And there's a big curve up here as I try to get to 70. But with the weather conditions, I won't much be doing, I won't be, probably won't be climbing about 70 miles an hour just because the weather's so bad. I want to be extra cautious. And, uh, take it, take it a little slower, so. Safety is, it's always, you, you got to remain safe at all times, so. That would be the right thing to do, slow her down. Speed limit 70, I should go about 60 when it's raining. If it's too bad, it would break it down even further. It's been pretty good, pretty good ride and pretty good trucking so far, so got no complaints. Not much traffic. I can see a little bit better now. I can speed these windshield wipers up a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, it's been pretty good trucking, I must say. These dangerous curves. I shouldn't worry so much about the curves because I'm not up to speed in the begin to begin with. Oh. Got a traffic light up here. And we're on yellow. Yeah, we're on we're on red, so wait for this three traffic and get her back going. We're not too heavy, so um, like I said, I only have a tandem axle truck and a 600 horsepower engine, and uh, and by being on the little incline, let me go into the second person. By being on this little bit of incline, if had I had a uh, big dozer or something I was pulling, it would have been trouble trying to get up this incline here because this isn't a heavy haul truck, not by any means. So yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be going up an incline like this with a heavy, heavy piece of equipment and stall out. So there's only 62,000 pounds total. So my truck's maybe 26,000. So you subtract that from, and then that's what the load weighs. So I only got about a, um, you know, 30 something thousand pound load or whatever. Got a little world work going on, it's all right. Make the roads a little safer for us to drive on. We got a car carrier carrying a couple Chevy trucks. All right. I see. You. Man, you got a big case. Track girl, man. All right. Go back to uh, make sure I don't miss my turn. Oh, here we go, right here. Wow. They really want you to get with it. 80 miles an hour. Definitely not trying to get up to that speed. All 
All right, so we're getting close to the drop off. Um, judging since I can see the flag uh, drop off area, I guess we're about 15, 12, 15 miles out, I would guess. Um, my estimation, maybe even closer. It's been an awesome trip, man, I must say. Uh, not many mistakes were made. <laughs> and uh, no accidents, and no, I didn't curb anything. It's been pretty good, I must say. I say, this isn't a heavy haul truck, so uh, it won't reach the speeds like some of my other rigs that I use. Oh, it's my exit. Let's break her down. Listen to them Jake's roar. Nothing like, a, nothing, like, nothing like a Detroit or a Cat. Two best engines for semis ever built. Detroit Diesel and Caterpillar. In my mind. In my, in my opinion. Let me get up here a little further so I can see a little bit better. Alright, what we got here? Alright, guy. Come on through in that old dump truck. That's old Mac. Old Mac dump truck station wagon well, now I'm good to go looking good back there in the mirrors and not running any signs open so yeah good to go well got some got a little traffic jam up here but it's all right a little accident a little fender bender not serious Ooh, got an overturned semi. Okay. Man, I thought it was just a little fender bend. I didn't realize it was an end dump that flipped over. Okay. Oh, I wish him well. Rawlins discovered. All right. Thirty miles an hour. Going. We exceed the speed limit just a tad bit, but yeah, it's all right. We're doing about thirty-five, and it's thirty. 